Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, Dude Man Bro, and I hope you all having a fantastic day. Just bringing you another video here, and this is going to be my top picks from this week and next week. I like to do a little bit of swing trading and day trading, and these are some that have catalysts slash they have upgrades coming up, and I think that you could easily see 20 to 30% rallies uh, that I think you should have on your watch list. Uh, if you like this content and you want to go ahead and smash that like button and share it and leave a comment down below if you want me a coin or a stock that you want me to uh, review, I would love that. like to talk to the community and everything. But anyway, let's jump right into here. All right, so the first thing I kind of want to bring up is Bitcoin. Uh, we are seeing almost 10% down for the week, but... I mean, this is pretty normal for a kind of sell the news. I believe that they are pushing a narrative that's not there uh, because BlackRock is adding like crazy. Uh, why would they be fearful if uh, BlackRock actually just added another 5,000 Bitcoin recently? I think that this is a bullish narrative all around. We are in a historic time for crypto especially with the ETFs that were dropped. And then you have Ethereum possible, uh, possibility to uh, add an ETF. And XRP also being talked to talked about having an ETF also. I think these are all very bullish for this right now. And if you ever have any issues, everybody, if people are talking smack or whatnot, just zoom out on that one year you know, chart. We were sitting at 20000 a year ago from now, and we're at $22,000 more. We're at $42,000 for a bit of Bitcoin. I think that crypto is the future. If you also think crypto is the future, go ahead and smash that like button because I think we have nothing but bullish uh, narratives and bullish catalysts in front of us, and I think we're going to be killing it here. Anyway, the first one we're going to be talking about is Mina Protocol. Mina Protocol is a zero-knowledge proof blockchain, and it's the lightest at only 22 kilobytes. And um, this is very big, I believe, because uh, most blockchains, if you want to be a validator, you have to download the whole entire blockchain. And Bitcoin is at least 400 gigabytes. Uh, I believe Ethereum is sitting around 13 gigabytes, uh, which is not huge, but you still have to have that. And this uses a new system to be able to, it's been, um, it's been compared to basically taking a picture of a picture uh, so say you wanted to take, say you, you have a baseball collection and you want to show people, but you don't want to take it out of your uh, house, but you want them to be able to validate you do own all these cards and you do, uh, you take a picture of all these cards and you can go to somebody and show them that you do, you are validated and you do have all of those cards. It's kind of along the lines like that. And with each transaction, another picture is taken with that picture so say you buy another card instead of putting that and taking another picture of it you take a picture of the new card with the picture of all your cards and that's the next transaction uh hope that made sense to all you guys but it's basically a faster way and a more secure way of being able to validate and it's a trustless system and that's why they're um, very big and i think that these are going to be uh especially these zero proof the zero knowledge proof um, blockchains are going to be very big in the future because uh, they almost take nothing to set up and um, they're, you know, very, very fast. Um, but anyway, they have a catalyst that's coming up and they have their main net upgrade and it's going to be basically making it easier for the um, development on their chain. And uh, I think this is big because it's not a very big, it's not a very used chain at the moment, but always to be improving and making uh, dApps easier and easier to use for some of these companies. And blockchains, I think, is very bullish. Uh, and that's why I really like Mina. Uh, be on the lookout. I'm going to be dropping a Mina protocol um, deep dive and um, the tokenomics and a bunch of other things. So keep an eye out on that because I'm very bullish on it. Um, but if, if we even look at the the chart, we're sitting at a, basically about a $1.4 billion market cap with this one. Um, it hit highs of almost $10 at its highest. And I definitely think that this is a very good one. It is a layer one. Um, actually, it's a layer two on its Cardano's um, proof of stake um, system. But 
on it. It's main one, it's a layer one, and I do think layer ones are going to be very big this year. Uh, so that's why I'm very bullish on this, and it has the Cardano um, blockchain behind it with the proof of stake. Uh, so I, I'm very bullish on that because I'm very bullish on Cardano too. Uh, I think it's been beaten up, and I'm I've been buying this when it's under a dollar. I think that even at right now, I can easily see this at a four billion dollar market cap. So it's double from here. I see it easily $2.50 to $3 for this one. So keep it on your radar because we might see some really good price action, especially since we have uh, Ethereum coming up. So Ethereum is the next one I want to talk about. I am very bullish on Ethereum. I think that we have a lot to go. It's underperformed where Bitcoin is right now. And I mean, I'm just loving all of the hate and everything coming from this because it's deflationary to a point, especially all those fees. People say they hate it, they hate it, they hate it. Um, but all most of those fees are actually burnt, and it becomes deflationary. And I I consider Ethereum the silver to Bitcoin's gold, basically. And it's ETF is going to be approved this year, or you know maybe the following next year. But you've seen a little bit of a a run up a Bitcoin when it's seen its ETF and just before, even if you're just a sell the news type of trader, I see this one going to at least 3000 to 3500 with that, you know, that bullish narrative coming up. And I mean, they have next thing is the Denkun upgrade that's going to be dropped in quarter one of 2024. And this is going to make layer twos on the Ethereum blockchain a lot faster and a lot cheaper and layer twos are already very cheap anyway uh, so this is very good and i there's no charts up here but i also want to tell you the narrative of the layer twos layer twos i think are going to be big for ethereum especially with this you know sell the news even if you want to do the run-up to it uh you have omg matic um loop ring OP, uh, ARB, just to name a few. And those are all layer twos on the Ethereum network. And I think that those are going to be running, especially with uh, going into the Denkun and uh, Ethereum be, and Ethereum also running a lot. You're going to be seeing a lot of good things, I believe, with that being said. But uh, last one I want to talk about is Solana. I'm very bullish on Solana. I love the chain. I believe one of the best that's out there, especially for scalability and it's cheap. Um, I do have my worries about it, but I do see it at about $200 at the top of the bull run this this year. Uh, I do think it can go even higher depending on uh, a few different um, key features especially Fire Dancer that is supposed to be released this year. Uh, if that comes out, I definitely do see it pushing up a lot. Uh, there are a few things that I'm not super bullish on, um, but I will be dropping a video regarding Solana and going over kind of a deep dive, what I think about it. Um, it does have an aggressive emission schedule, uh, releasing about 47% more of the supply uh, in 2027, which I think... Depending on where crypto is, if we are sitting at a five trillion dollar market cap, that might might make that might not make any difference at all. But if we are at the same market cap, then I think that we're going to be just sitting here at one hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars. Um, but there are a lot of big things for this. Their Fire Dancer that's going to be released this year. Uh, that's going to be adding a different type of validator system. And I hope that that really increases the amount of validators because right now we are kind of centralized in the, the Solana blockchain, especially with only 3,400 validators, give or take. Um, comparing that to Ethereum at over 800,000 um, validators is kind of, you know, but I do think that this is only just now getting started. Uh, if it can fix its, you know, uh, outages and stuff, you know, in 2022, it had a few outages. It had a few attacks in 2022, which really affected its um, growth, I believe. Uh, but if it can fix all that, I think this one is a no brainer for a top three. Um, which it already is basically, uh, but I think it's going to be growing with Ethereum and everything. But I do see it at about a two hundred dollar price tag right now in this bull run this year. 
Uh, but you have to kind of keep that, uh, have to look out for that because, you know, I am staking it. I just suggest that you stake it if you don't, are, are not sure. Uh, I bought it at $20 a coin basically, so, and I took a little bit of profit. I definitely think everybody should be taking profit on the way up. Uh, I did sell about four or five coins and, you know, got majority of all my money that I started with. And uh, I put that into other projects that I was very bullish on. Uh, but another thing that they just said is the uh, Solana reveals the Saga 2. That's their phone that they come up with. Uh, the first phone actually did very well that it was reselling for two to $4,000. And that's because it, with this phone, they do um, drops, airdrops. And with airdrops, it's just free tokens. I believe that they almost fourteen hundred dollars in bonk was basically awarded with uh, the Saga One, which is the airdrop. Uh, the phone's not supposed to drop till twenty twenty five, and it's supposed to have a four hundred and fifty dollar price tag. Um, but with this this being talked about, you're going to be seeing in your feeds. You're going to be seeing almost everywhere. These phones are going to be ending up on eBay and everything. But I think that that is going to be driving the narrative and it's going to be very bullish for Solana and that's why I have it on my top list to be watching. Um, if you're not staking it, I definitely suggest that you do because I think it is a no-brainer to earn those 5%. Uh, you can basically, um, you can stake it almost anywhere. There's so many, it's anywhere between 4 and 8%. And I believe it's going to be big in the future. Um, but yes, that's the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, let me know what's on your watch list. Uh, I wish I could do a longer video here, but uh, I don't want it to be super long. But uh, I also do have meme coins that are also on there. Um, and when it comes to Solana, if I have Solana on my watch list too, and I think it's going to be popping and blowing up, I also do think a Bonk is going to be shooting up to Dog with a Hat also. Um, just to name a few and then same thing for ethereum if ethereum does see a little bit of a pump you're going to be seeing shiba pepe uh, a few of those be uh, going crazy so you should be watching out for those and uh, but anyway i hope you really enjoyed the video if you want to leave a comment down below let me know what you think about it uh, if there's any way i can improve these videos please let me know uh, if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button or sharing the video if you want, I really do appreciate everybody. Uh, this community has been really nice and amazing, and that's the only reason I'm able to do these videos is because of all you guys, and um, I cannot thank you enough. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get out of here. You all have a great day, and I hope you see nothing but green. And just remember to stay humble but never satisfied, and DCA is the way. Take care. Peace.